Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. We are going to do a Bridget Riley project. This is Bridget Riley. This is a painting that Bridget Riley did. This is another painting that Bridget Riley did. And we're going to start off with this little yellow strip of poster board. Draw a zigzag or some kind of interesting line down the middle of it. Then using a pair of scissors, you're going to cut on that line. Then you're going to take one half of it and you're going to use it to make the, the painting. But first we're going to put a border, the width of the ruler, all the way around the paper. The uh, border around the paper will keep you having keep you from having to fill in so much with marker and it'll also be a place to um, frame it if you actually enjoy uh, the painting or it just makes it look more professional. I put a dot in the middle not really in the middle but somewhere in the paper and I am putting part of this poster board on that dot I'm gonna put the same piece of the same piece of poster board the same spot on that same dot and move the poster board every I don't know one inch or so not very much and I'm gonna trace that line over and over and over again with my pencil I, I ended up with 60 two lines all the way around and then uh, this is a close-up of having traced it and I also went through and I marked every other one with a X that way I know where I'm going to fill in I filled in the entire middle section because I kind of got off track as I was making my um, lines but then I'm going to go through and I'm going to color in every other space. At first I used a ultra fine point to outline it and then I used a fine point to start to fill it in and then when the space was a little bit larger I used a chisel tip marker. Here I am using the fine point just around the edges and then here I am using the chisel tip to fill in the big areas and I just kept doing that over and over and over again until I had all uh, let's see 62 divided by 2 is 31 until I had all 31 spaces filled in at some point I realized that I could actually make a pretty solid line inside the, the lines that I needed to with the fine point and I stopped using the ultra fine. Do whatever uh, you need to, uh, but be careful. Stay inside the lines as much as possible. Keep your lines smooth. Um, best way to do that is to be confident when you make the mark. If you're confident, the line will be smooth, even if it goes out of line a little bit. And you can always kind of come back and tweak it if, um, if you are inside the line a little too much. Then I use a chisel tip to fill in there. Fine point sharpie. And then chisel tip sharpie. Fine point sharpie. And then a chisel tip sharpie. Over and over and over again until I had all 31 sections filled in. At first it does look like it's going to take forever, but I assure you it will not take forever. I finished mine in just an hour or two, which uh, equals to about two class periods. I expect it will take you a little bit longer. The wigglier you make the line, the more interesting I think your picture is going to be. I was afraid of making mine a little bit too wiggly and so I have a fairly straight like it's got that curve in the middle but it's it's pretty straight from the middle to that one hump uh, I highly recommend making yours a little bit more wiggly and you'll get a better image there it is when I was done I hope you enjoyed making this vi uh, watching this video like I said give me a thumbs up and <clears throat> take care be careful to uh, draw inside the lines the best you can and not get too messy. Now it's your turn to go and make some Bridget Riley art. 